Welcome to a quick Photoshop tutorial on displacement maps. So we're just going to be having a look at how a displacement map works and what sort of effects you can do with it. So we've got a picture of a model here and I'm just going to come up to image duplicate and call the the new image map. I'm then going to come up to image adjustments and desaturate because I want to remove all the colour from the image uh, and then we're going to come up to image again adjustments and this time levels and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play around with the black and the white to just really create, create a bit of contrast in the area that we're going to be placing the tattoo the tattoo is going to be in our chest area so I'm just going to make sure that's Yep, there we go, we've got a sort of nice light area sort of here and here and it's darkened up sort of here and around this part as well. So I'm going to just click OK for that. And then all I'm going to do is just now go up to File, Save As, and save the file as Displacement Map. Just make sure you save it as a PSD, just a normal Photoshop file. And then if you come back to your original image, and I'm just going to get the, the tattoo and paste that on and you can use different things uh, you could use a camouflage colouring or you know different wh whatever whatever texture you're putting on an object this is how you can do it so come up to create clip and mask right click and I'm going to as well convert this to a smart object and change the blend mode to multiply and that way we get rid of the, the white background. I'm then just going to zoom in on the area that I'm placing the tattoo and just size the tattoo so it fits over our, our body. Let's see, so there we go, that looks okay there. So I'm just going to place that there and as you can see you know it's it's there but it doesn't look like it's blending in so the way that you do that is go to file distort and then displace and I've changed my horizontal and vertical to 5 you can play around with the settings yourself but once you do that just click OK and then it'll ask you to load in your displacement map so you can then do that and if you look at the difference uh, I'm going to just go back there's what it looked like before and now here's what it looks like after. So as you can see there's quite a, a blur uh, and a, a blend of the, the contours of where the body is. So yeah, that looks a lot better. And I'm just going to reduce the, the opacity a bit for this just to make sure that it sort of blends in more with our skin colour. And that's really all there is to displacement maps. Hope you can find some good ideas and create them yourself.